Hello and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Chapter 9, Keep Us Apart. What you're seeing is a vignette. It focuses on Jasper, Clan Nosferatu. And we will take a look at some of the events of his unlife. Some parts of Jasper's story may be resolved in this vignette. New questions may be posed. First, however, let's meet our vampires. Hi, I'm Alexander Ward, and I play Jasper. I'm Xander Genere, and I play X. And I'm Jason Carl, your storyteller. Let us tell now a vampire story. The scene is Griffith College at night. Students pass to and fro on their way from the library to the dorm or to the coffee shop or to some of the businesses, and clubs and bars nearby. It's quieter than usual. It's just not the same without those two musicians. <laughs> Where are you in the quad and are you visible? I can say that I am very visible. Very visible. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have found a perch kind of like in the, in the grassy area, and I'm just kind of lounging around and, you know, talking to people if they want to talk to me. But mostly, uh, it's every two, three minutes or so, I just shout out, you here yet? And then resume conversation. The passersby glance in your direction. Are, are you talking to me? Oh. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm here. No, 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 not you. Oh, what? yeah. Keep okay. you. Cool, nice vest. Thank you. Yeah. They hurry on their way. I, um, I'm there. I let about two of those Are You Here Yet's go by. Are you here yet? Are you here yet? Yes. Hi, Jasper. Where, where are you? I'm going to get up and start feeling around. Ah. Oh. Up. Hey. Are you visible? No. Uh, once I've seated, um, I've never done this before. I want, no, I'm just gonna stay. No, I'm good. Never mind. Never mind. Thought better I'm of seated. <laughs> Jasper, I'm so glad to kind of see you. Right. Uh, be in my presence. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Uh, no. I feel like we had a meeting set up. My calendar has been crazy, though. I can imagine. Yeah, so this is like the only time that uh, you could return that favor for me. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that. Is there some place that we should go? Like I mean, we can be here, but if you want to go somewhere where you could actually see me, we'd have to go somewhere else. Right. I just, I like being on the campus. I like feeling like a young person and, I'm in with it. Yeah. Also, I'm not getting kicked out right now, which is a right nice now. change of pace. Yeah. No, that's true. You're not at the moment. So I uh, change at any time, though. You never know. Your your place? Or, sure. uh, my mine's too far. I mean, yeah, we can. We can go to a place. I'm gonna take him to the coterie. 
place. Ah, our, to the our communal sanctum. space. Ah, I now, see. You've been there before, so it's not new to you. Uh, the I, only thing that is different from the last time you were visiting is that one of the chairs around the large table where the coterie likes to meet um, is almost completely destroyed. It's been, you think, maybe chewed, gnawed, torn up, slashed. It's a wreck. Oh man, I love what you've done with the place. I can't take credit for that. Uh, Unfortunately. Um, is there anyone here? You are alone. There is no sign of the rest right. of the coterie, and you haven't seen any of Ramona's little friends yet either. Okay. So I, I when we walked in, I dropped. You become visible. Become visible. And I activate Cloak of Shadows, <laughs> and I become invisible. Cloak of Shadows <laughs> renders you unseen, provided that you don't move and stay move. in the shadows. Clever. <laughs> Okay, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how long it was going to take you to... Just a bit of fun. I know. <laughs> so? Yeah. You felt like we had a meeting planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can get to that. That's very, very important that you fulfill your promise to return the favor to me. Of and course. It, it was a very large favor. I'm sure it was. I risked the permanent death several times watching over little Belle. I... I very familiar with the consequences of being in her presence. How, uh, how do you feel about that, though? About Belle? You mean in general? Yeah, and, you know, it's us. There's no BS here. I'm aware. I... She is... complicated. I... You, you're aware of my general dislike for most kindred. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about you. I know. <laughs> Regardless of how much I try, it doesn't seem to work on you, so I guess I'm stuck with you. Aww. And I know that you meant that. I did. <laughs> Annabelle is a problem mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Not in the way people are usually a problem for me, I should say. Kindred are usually a problem for me. She's a she's a tomato. Uh, you know, it's, it's a tomato. Okay, so logic says that tomato is a fruit. Yes. Wisdom says that you don't put that in a fruit salad. Right. But philosophy says, is ketchup a smoothie? Uh, Annabelle's a tomato. Right. I see where you're going with this. Yes, Annabelle doesn't fit the norm of what you would expect from a kindred, even a new one. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. I don't know, I I like her, mm -hmm. and I like that she's kind of your pet, uh, and that you mm -hmm. kind of make her go and muscle some stuff. I don't necessarily want her to do what I do. What I do is unpleasant for most people. Yeah. But Regardless of what the Baron has told her. Which Baron? You have to be more specific. The un the baby Baron. Oh. Has tried to tell her, and then regardless of what um, Mrs. Glash Menagerie has told her. <laughs> These nicknames, I can't keep up. I know. She doesn't seem to want to conform. She doesn't want to do what everyone else does. Yeah, but that's that's everybody at that stage. Yeah, I don't I think she's different. She's really not playing the game. And I admire her not playing the game because I wish I didn't play the game. Mm. But I don't have the luxury of being normal looking to get away with not playing the game. Mm. I have to play the game so that people like our um, good friend from the Succubus Club the other night. I heard about that. What did you guys do? What? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know your 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 lady was there. Your your uh, Baron Teresa. Yeah. She was there. She was. Yeah. She seemed to have a pleasant evening. 
Mm. Not as pleasant as some at the expense of others, but don't really want to get into that. That's okay. I don't really want to hear it. Um, now, looping back around. Right. There's, okay, I've been kind of observant, as okay. one does. As you do often. I, well, thank you for saying that. And that's something that I said that you rebounded back, but I'll take it. Um, Nellie is mm. being interesting. She has some new kind of abilities. I've noticed. That I didn't know before. It's stuff that generally Toreadors don't have. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Uh, you also have seemed to come into some new abilities. I have. I went about it the, at least by normal kindred society standards, the proper way. You learned it the proper way? I asked. Okay. And made a deal. So you could say that it would be a comparable return for a, a large favor? Listen, you can't hide from me. You can't hide from this eye. Right. Right? Right. I've, I've seen it, Jasper. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it happen, and I know you can do it. And you're going to teach me. <sighs> I'm going to teach you what specifically? You're going to teach me how to moonwalk. I saw you do it. I know you can. <sighs> now, I've never been able to figure it out. You gotta help me out, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's the proper way to ask a kindred. Like, no, 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 no. Do I have no. to make a, I, I was, another deal? I, I can honestly say that that was not what I was expecting, but oh. it's- Do you know other dances? No, I want moonwalk. Well, you see, I will do, I will do my very best to attempt to teach you how to do said thing, but um, it was done under the influence of someone else. Oh. So until very recently, I was not aware I could do it. So it's very possible that you have natural hidden talent to do said moon walk without um, me really having to do much. No, you're not going to get your way out of this, mister. No, 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 no. I didn't say I was getting out of it, but it may be that I just show you what I did and then you can do it and then we're done. With several lessons right. over time. Just to make sure that I perfect. I see. I don't want to be embarrassed. So Don't when are see we how that up? would be the thing that embarrasses you. Or, uh, what? But, yes, I will teach you how to move. Thank you. I know this is tough ability. for you. I know. It is. It's something it's... definitely out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Time and place of the favor has been struck. The boon repayment has been requested and agreed to. For all intents and purposes, in kindred society, that's legit. <laughs> so, while Jasper needs some time to contemplate exactly the manner in which this favor will be repaid and what consequences might ensue. And how many cameras are there. <laughs> the details may need some further discussion. But we'll give him time to think about that because Jasper has other plans for the rest of his evening. It was nice to see you, X. Always nice to see you. I'll be watching. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> the labyrinth. Hmm. No one moonwalks down here. No, they don't. It takes almost an act of will just to go in the place. You know where to begin, but you also know what happens there. Yeah. What is your intent on this particular expedition? I've through my travels in there, I've noticed that some, that this place is not just a marvel of architecture. It's not a place that just someone built through wood and stone and digging out passageways. No, there is more to it than that. Yes. 
there is something here that defies what a normal building can be, what a normal construction can be, and I want to further explore that aspect of this place. Now, when the others came in here, they told me of a of a mirror that wasn't a mirror that you could walk through. Yes. Which is something I hadn't seen. That would be new to you. Yes. And just very intriguing. So. Very well. Let's make two rolls. All right. The first pool should be wits and investigation. Okay. That is a one success and a messy critical. Messy critical. Unless, let me clarify, it's one critical on a black dice and one critical on a hunger die. Ah, okay, so no messy crit. Okay, just a regular. You've been mapping. Mm -hmm. And so you know how to get to the place where you left off your exploration yes. the labyrinth. Starting from there, mm -hmm. making a guess at which direction they must have come from, the direction you haven't explored in before. All right, I've got my... Mm, you've got the book. Mapping ability mm -hmm. and my book. You have the book with you? I do have the book. The ancient tome. Strange symbols, odd words that are largely indecipherable to you. I do. This next roll be intelligence and occult. Intelligence and occult. This I am much better at. That would be three successes. Three successes is excellent. Mm. Well. Two things happen. One, you spot marks on the wall. <laughs> and on very close inspection, you determined that they were made recently and by something that must be a, a marker or a Sharpie. Someone has been trying to navigate down here by leaving marks on the walls. Interesting. The next thing is that the book, as you pass by this location, begins to vibrate and shake ever so slightly in your hands. And it has not done that before. Okay. Does the vibration change if I turn a page? No. Okay. Now it does. Now it does. So I'm going to go back. Do I see anything of interest on the page? Anything I can read? It is very difficult to make out the letters, it's as though, it's almost as though they move and twist okay. in front of your eyes. Then I will take my knife, I will cut my palm, and I will smear the blood across the book. The images, the letters, the pictograms flow like water, red water, and slowly resolve into words that you can read. They are directions. So many paces left from here, so many paces right, down this stair, across that catacomb, into this antechamber and out the other side. You follow? I follow. You follow Start the instructions. Start following the directions. Uh, moving quietly as a precaution but still visible. 
but still visible. Not activating my... So, dexterity and stealth. Mm -hmm. That is one, two, six successes. Six successes. If there are eyes to see you and ears to hear you, then they must be keen indeed, as you are a shadow. Okay. So you proceed to follow. I proceed to follow the directions in the book. Mm -hmm. It takes you along a route that you know you haven't traversed before, which is, of course, exciting, and yet a little alarming, because you don't know where it goes. I'm taking notes as I go to try and, in my journal, to in your journal, map this area. To out. try to find your way back again. Yeah. There's a spiral stair that goes down. There's a spiral stair that goes up. There's a curtain, tattered, gray, and dirty, that you must part before you proceed. And then there it is, on the wall. What appears to be a mirror. You can see your reflection after a fashion. You are indistinct and hazy. You know it is yourself because the reflection in the glass moves as you do, mm. but you can't make out the details of your own self when you look into its surface. I put, put the book away. And I want to approach the mirror and I want to look around the edges and the sides for any sort of writing or symbolism or anything that I could possibly read or decipher. Mm -hmm. well, finding the symbols isn't hard, but they are as indistinct to you as the pictograms in the book. find a part that has runes on it and I'm going to prick my thumb uh, and spread it on the edge to see what happens. Now that you know how to make the writing visible, it's a lot easier. Yeah. And yes, as you pass your bloodied thumb across the writing, in the wake of the blood, letters form it is name. Zelios. Have I heard that name before? It does not sound familiar to you. Okay. But you recall that there is one page of the book that you have been able to decipher that has a word that you think is the same. Mm. You can find it again. Go back through and I find it. And yes, they do match. Zelios. <sighs> okay. Does it say anything about him in the book? Not that you have discovered yet, but you've only just learned how to read it properly. I write Zelios down in my journal. Very well. I take a step back and I look at the mirror. And I'm going to place my hand at the center of the mirror. You touch the glass. Mm -hmm. There is no resistance. It is as though your hand passes through smoke. As you touch it, your hand vanishes from sight. I pull it back out. It's cold in there. Interesting. Cold like you imagine the grave must be. Is this mirror against the wall or standing? It is apparently attached to a wall here in the labyrinth. Okay. Is there any other markings in the room that seem to correspond with this mirror? You make a search. Uh, wits plus investigation? Wits and investigation. That is a one, two, six successes. Mm -hmm. On the wall, above the mirror, but at a considerable height, 
higher than you can reach easily. Mm -hmm. There is a pictogram of a dead rat. Now you have seen the rat markings here in the labyrinth before, and you have been dutifully copying them down in your journal, but mm -hmm. as yet, they don't mean anything to you. Is the rat pointing? Its tail is to the mirror. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna store my stuff again. I'm gonna pull my knife and I'm gonna step through the mirror. Knife in hand, you step forward. The transition is abrupt. You are in blackness. You can see nothing. It's not the kind of blackness like what happens when you're in a very dark room mm -hmm. or you close your eyes. Even then, there is some light, even if it's just the flashes of light on side, inside your eyelids. Right. But not this time. This is the deepest, most complete blackness you have ever known. There is no sight. There is no sound. It is impossible to tell where you are. You feel no floor under your feet. You don't feel the walls to the sides. It is almost as though you are floating. And it is colder still. Intensely cold, like a frozen winter night. Just gonna let my senses kind of explore the area and see if I smell, hear anything. It's like being wrapped in black cotton. There is void. Very difficult to figure out which way is back, forward, up, or down. And you said it doesn't feel like I'm standing. It just feels like I'm there. You are just there. I, with whatever direction I happen to be mm -hmm. facing at the moment, I'm just going to try and will myself forwards. You're not sure how long you are suspended in this place. Could be minutes, could be hours, could be longer, could be microseconds. But abruptly, you are through and you are someplace else in the labyrinth. But you've been here before, you know you have. There is a symbol of a living rat on the wall here, its tail pointing to the mirror on this side. And on this side, it looks like a normal, everyday, reflective surface mirror. Interesting. I turn to look at the mirror. You can see yourself quite clearly. Is there any runes on this mirror, this side? On this side, the mirror seems to be quite plain. No markings, no writing. Even though I feel like I know what it's gonna be, I put my hand against the mirror. It's just a mirror. It's smooth glass that resists your touch. One way. I wonder if only the dead can go through there. It's an interesting hypothesis that can be proven or disproven through experimentation. Yeah. Interesting. And you said I have been in this area before. Yes, you have. Okay. You know that there are strange angles in this particular part of the labyrinth angles that don't act like they should. It's not a place you're really happy to be. Yeah. Um, uh, 
hell. Glancing at your timepiece, yeah. you realize that if you spend much more time down here, you're going to be late. You're going to miss your chance. <laughs> She'll be gone. I leave, I head out again. You know the way from here. And you can find your way back out into your haven. Yep. To the surface. And on to your rendezvous. They're like, okay, I guess. But you're a fashion major. I mean, what's not to love all the time? Uh, like, <sighs> Professor G, she like, you know how she is. She just, I don't want to talk about me. This is about you. Okay. This is about you, all about you. No, it's not. It's, oh Stop it. You've been, you've been like glowing. And I'm not just talking about like, you know, you doing really well with your classes and everything. What is up? It's hard. I mean, the program in investigative journalism is incredible. It's like these professors, they know so much. And I feel like, I don't know, when I get out there, I really can do something to change the world with my writing. Anyway, that's the goal. Do you, uh, do you ladies have everything you need? You need anything else? You got a special on, you know, bagels tonight. You all good? Not like with my... Not, no, not with my figure. No, no, thank you. No, hey, um, just tea. I, I know you. Aren't we? Uh, aren't we in? Uh, aren't we in poli sci together? Mm. No. Oh, okay. Oh, what's your name? Hey, my name's Juan. I just started here. Juan, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Cool. Yeah, so you guys always... are good, right? Yeah, like we're having girl talk. So. Got it. No Got friends. It. <laughs> yeah. No, no worries. Just uh, let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Cool. I think he likes you. Oh, but like, girl. What? He could. He goes. Did you see what here. he was wearing? He's wearing Sus a uniform with suspenders. Listen. Yeah, I think they have to wear them. Listen, I. I am like not. I hate to pry, but I've seen you looking at your phone constantly when we've been hanging out. <laughs> it's nothing. Come on, come on. What's going on? Well. You know I've been dating that guy, Dave. It's just his very so fast. <laughs> I mean, he tells me he loves me like the first date. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm supposed to go. I'm not sure if for Thanksgiving I want to go visit my family or he invited me to meet his family. And I just feel like it's way too soon. I mean, I don't even know if I want to date. I feel like you're a little caught up. We've we've been through this before. Yeah. Don't you think it's kind of time to move on? It's been five years. Yeah. I mean, like, also Dave is a hottie. <laughs> like you want like he's like throws those balls at you during whatever you do that that we sport. We play dodgeball. That's where we met. You know that. You know I'm passionate about dodgeball and I'm the captain. Can you please not say throw those balls around? <laughs> it's just... important. I can get out my aggression. It's a place where, where there's no hierarchy. Everybody's just, you're out, you're out. He's just, he's everything that you deserve. He's you know. kind. He's fine looking. I mean, he's that just... musculature. Is there such a thing as too many muscles? <clears throat> Show me a photo. Show me it. Let me let me see. Okay, but promise promise you'll never tell him I showed you this. Okay. No, there's no such thing as too many muscles. I know, uh, but I don't know. Something just feels not right. It just feels like I don't know. When I look into his eyes, it, it, they're kind eyes, but they they don't have that that mystery that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, I you know, don't know. He's gone about that. I don't know. I just. I want to feel the mysteries of, of all time when I look into someone's eyes. And like, you will, you can see into people. Like, you know that, though, I love fashion. I'm more than that. You and I have been through so much. And I just, I think that your passion for the world, I, I don't know. I just think that you need a place that's safe 
that's beautiful. That's like maybe I don't want safe and beautiful. Maybe I, I that's that's the whole thing I'm running away from. I mean, that's why I'm studying journalism to dig deep, to travel the world, and uncover stories that that can change the way that we see society. You know what what is good and bad? Everything's just shades of gray. Jasper, your phone. Yeah. Is it set to sound or silent? It's uh, set to silent. Okay. Anyway, what are you doing for the holidays? You know me. I'm staying local, and I'm just going to, like, do probably, like, cafe gratitude or something. Just, Mm. I'm trying so hard not to eat any meat. It's really difficult. Oh, because you know me, like I really like meat, so. Sure, yeah. I mean, I, my freshman year I wrote this article about slaughterhouses and the things that go on. I mean, it should have turned me veg. I mean, you essentially are the inspiration point. You're just like, you're such a wonderful human being. Like, I don't. Stop. No one would ever let you go. I'll never let you go. You're my bestie. I will never, ever let you go. I'd be stupid Thanks, if Anne. someone did that. <laughs> you know, it was so weird. I told you about Jasper, right? Oh my gosh. I just feel Again? like Again. I was at the funeral, but something about it, it it just felt insincere to me. I just, I just when he's there one second and then gone the next and I just well, wait, that's wait, why I, um what's his name? Again, I forgot. I forgot too. Oh my gosh. I feel bad. Mr. Polly Psy guy? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Juan, yeah. Hey, hey. how you doing? You, did Juan. you need something else? Did you want one of those bagels? They are awesome. Um, Everything bagel especially is super good. Do you want a bagel? Definitely want a bagel. Splitsies? A couple of bagels? Yeah. Just yeah. All right. one? Just, just one? to make... One to sh- share nuts. between you. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks. okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, maybe it wasn't... Um, well, maybe it wasn't poli sci. Maybe it was... Um, maybe it was American history? No. No? Could have been. You took that last semester, right? Did I like? Uh, did I fail? You had this. You had this. This awesome scarf. It was. It wasn't really red. It, it was the tan really scarf. Crimson. It was the tan scarf. Tan. Yeah, like the the tan scarf, the checkerboard tan red scarf. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one. Yeah, it was awesome. That sounds like you. Wow. It was so perfect. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, like um, I don't remember anything of that class, but I definitely remember what I wore. <laughs> That's bagel. You. Yeah. Two, yeah, two you bagels. Want, you want butter or? No butter, no cream cheese, just bagels. I'll do cream cheese. Cream cool. cheese. Cool, slaughterhouse. Okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, uh, hummus? Yeah, we got hummus. Thanks. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. I'll, I'll be right back. Like, for real, anything that kills anything is just horrible. Like, everything should live and breathe. Like, you know all about that. You're trying to stop all of these horrible things from happening in the world. Well, yeah. I mean, I definitely think that in that scenario it's unjust, but there's a natural order to things. Things live and die. We can't prevent death. Then to maybe just remember that. Maybe that's what you need to tell yourself because, girl, with Dave on your arm... And I see the way he looks at you. And I've only met him a couple times, but... He's good arm candy. Mm. Like, you deserve someone beautiful and perfect, just like you. <laughs> uh, isn't he too perfect, though? I mean, I'm not perfect. Come on. We were roommates. You've seen. You're a slob. <laughs> yeah. please, please tell me you pick up after yourself again. <laughs> it's just there's other things to worry about, you know? Like, that'll, that comes when there's time, which... There never is. <laughs> I don't know. I. It just doesn't feel right. It's just something. I just feel like there's something there that I'm not seeing. If that makes sense. It does. I guess you just have to. You have to try because he's. I have a feeling the way he. I mean, he's inviting you to spend the holidays with you? I'm, yeah. It's a lot. I think that he's, like, really serious about it. What's his major? I always forget. 
pre-med. Oh, he's pre-med. Yeah. I know. <laughs> he's going to be a doctor. And he's got a really nice family. He's from Orange County. And, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of like, if you don't have any problems, then, then you don't understand when other people face adversity. I don't know. It, it's almost too good, you know? <laughs> Bagel, right. Oh. Toasted. Um, Juan. Cream cheese. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Juan. Hummus. Yeah, hummus, yeah. right. Uh, like, your suspenders are okay, I guess. You like these? Yeah. We kind of have to wear them, but yeah. I, I kind of like them. They're kind of, like, know? out of style, kinda, but I kinda, like... Well, it's you know. it's kind of new retro, you know what I mean? <laughs> I yeah. do. I mean, I, I like I like fashion. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm okay admitting it. Yeah. I like you fashion. I like to look good. Well, I did. It was It was pretty distinctive. Yeah. And I like your hat a lot, too. <laughs> Thanks. That is super cool. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, anything else? You guys need a refill on the coffee or the tea or anything? You're good? More tea, Diane? More this tea. This is Diane, by the way. I'm Diane. Diane. Hey, Hi. hey, I'm yeah. one. Like, more tea, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? And maybe, like, you know, a tea. I'll come back for tea another time, and we can talk more about fashion. Oh, cool. Uh, I work um, Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So all day. I'll, I'll, write, I'll write my schedule down so for you. working man. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. That means he has Friday and Saturday off. Well, just maybe we can double date. You know me. I know he's so obsessed with, like, just work and everything. And I'm so glad that we could just meet up and I just know. get this coffee and talk because a lot's gone on. Yeah, finals coming up, so <laughs> that's crazy. But, hey, maybe invite him to that party Friday. That would be fun. Yeah. We could, like... God, and you can, I'll gauge Dave and I'll like ask him some questions and see if he. I know exactly what he wants and he's moving really fast. Yeah. I kind of want to like, I'm not going to be that girl, but I have a girlfriend. I'm so sorry. I, I have a Pinterest board full of rings. Like, I just, I can't help it. What? And so I think that you and I should look through them all, and you can just, like, tell me which ones you like, just in case. I am focused on my career. I can't get married right now, and I think that's the right direction I'm he's just, heading. I'm not saying we're going to marry, we're going to college. I'm just, if it, you know, rings. I like rings. Okay, but fashion rings? Okay. Just, like, generic? Promise Any rings? finger? Okay. Yeah, we're on top. Two different planets right now. I'm just saying. Like, I think about accessories. Do you want to marry Dave? No. Maybe. Oh, uh, who's, who's Dave? Uh, I got your tea. Oh, hi. Hey. <sighs> My boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, hey, cool. So, uh, hey. there's this really cool party Friday night if you're not hey, working. Hey, I'm not working. Yeah? That'd be great. Yeah, cool. Do you want to get her number? Or? Uh, yeah, I should get totally get your number. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. And I grab a pen from like his chest <laughs> and I like take out his hand and I write down his number. On his hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm See, writing with his hand. His, uh, his hand is shaking a little bit. <laughs> just a just a little bit. The ever slightest tremor. Oh, I catch it. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. I'll, uh, I'll 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 text you. I mean, like now. Like okay. to, you know. Sounds good. Connect. Cool. We can get the details. Yeah. Right. Um. Um. Is it like a is it a formal party or is it is oh. it totally cash or what? Is it a dodgeball party? Yeah. Dodgeball. Uh, Play dodgeball. Wear anything. I, there will be people in tights of every design. It's wow. It's a dodgeball tights. party. We'll be the best looking people there. <sighs> okay. I don't, Sounds I great. <laughs> <laughs> You know, dodgeball requires real athleticism. It's not like a joke. He leaves, shaking his head. He's he's no longer sure about this. Yeah, that was weird. that was weird. Did you hear that? Was that a wind? It was like a, like a dog snuffle. Anyway, I'm gonna move away a bit. Dexterity and stealth. I will roll for Chloe and Diane. Six successes. It's a tie. Do you have <laughs> any willpower that you can spend to reroll? I do. I will reroll three. Now would be a good time. It's an additional two. You are grease. You are you are butter. You are shadow. You make no sound. Where are you going? Just far enough away that. 
I could write a note. Mm -hmm. So you step away, perhaps um, over by the uh, counter where the, all the condiments yeah. are kept. I, all the little packets of sugar. I take a napkin from there and kind of slide it on the table. It's one of those brown recycled paper napkins. And I have a pen and I'm going to slowly try and write a quick note on the napkin. Do you need time to compose? No, I know what I'm going to say. Okay. So you write the note. Write a note. And when Juan brings the check, I want to slip it onto the little tray. Okay. So when that happens, we'll have you make the appropriate roll to do it. Okay. Unnoticed. Chloe and Diane. No, go ahead. <sighs> the city sometimes it's so crazy have you like thought about like staying here after you graduate or do you want to like I'm going to travel the world yeah yeah I mean I would love to be an on the scene correspondent <laughs> you know I yeah. want to I want to yeah. be in Yemen I want to be in Syria I want to I want to travel the world where, where things are happening, where people are, are changing their own world or, or suffering and going unnoticed. See, that's why I feel like you need some place to call home. A place just to recover and relax, you know? Like, I get it, chill vibes here, but yeah, go do those wonderful things. I want you to too, but I want you to come back and feel like you're taken care of. But if I marry Dave, if he gets in a residency program, then I could move anywhere. Oh, yeah, your kids would look so cute. I'm just saying. It does. Did you see yeah. yourself in the reflection there? Yeah. <laughs> Diane, your uh, phone buzzes. Oh. It is Juan texting you his number. <gasps> Hi, Diane. It's Juan. Smiley face. What? You don't see him anywhere in the You're cafe, though. I'm just saying. Uh, I thought you didn't like it suspended. I, like, didn't, but then after he made a justifying response, it was kind of hard to not resist his good looks and charm. And you noticed he had a face and a voice and a personality that was more than his suspenders? <sighs> Fine. And then I text him back, uh, uh, hey, what's up? It's Diane. Winky face. <laughs> Winky face. Did you say, it's Diane? Yeah. He knows. He, he just said, hi, Diane. I know. I don't you know how are to flirt, so okay? Smooth. I'm, like, trying. <laughs> You can teach me the tricks. You you're, can teach me how you're to You're better it. in person. <laughs> All you need to do is twirl your hair just a little like you just were. Yeah. Get him hooked. <laughs> One does return eventually. Okay. With the check. I want to just slide the note onto the little tray thing. I'll cover it. <laughs> so, he's pretty distracted. Mm hmm So you've got a really good chance. All right. Would that be dex plus? It's either dex plus stealth or dexterity and subterfuge. I'll take dex and stealth. Thought maybe that might be your choice. <laughs> I should get my nails pulled in. I love yours, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I went for That's four successes. Well, that easily beats his one success <laughs> of being completely distracted. Talks, you know, he talks to you a little bit about um, you know, how he's uh, how he's really active in the student protest group. Uh, maybe you heard about the, the big protest recently here on campus, where we uh, we found out about all that uh, dirty money that some of the board members were taking, and uh, we organized a student protest, and the police came, and there was tear gas, and uh, it was incredible. But we we did what was right. We stood up for justice. Did you yeah. read my article about it in the school paper? Which one? That was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote that. Yeah, I was there. That's amazing. The front page? Uh, that was really cool. That was, that was, that you? was only my second time being on the front page. Uh, so. Yeah, you interviewed uh, you interviewed a couple of our uh, our group leaders, um, you know, Mark and Maria. Yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. That was great. That was pretty insightful. Well, they are insightful people. I mean, they it was are wonderful so to be with inspiring. I wish you could meet Ramona. And I don't know where she uh, she is. I met her a couple of days ago, and uh, she's is a she really. Missing? Well, no, she's not missing. She's around here somewhere, but she's new on campus. She has a lot to say about this sort of stuff. Oh, and what? Annabelle. Annabelle is amazing, but she's on some sort of like I don't know sabbatical or something. This she is. She's got the, the real fire. Uh, but uh, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, whenever you're ready. It's okay. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you know. Well, uh, she's covering for me this time. But uh, the next time I come, maybe you can cover for me. Okay. okay. It's a deal. <laughs> okay. You approve, don't you? Okay. Well, I think it just got asked out. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's on me next time. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pay for your own bills. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta start cleaning up. <laughs> I totally get sorry. It. Don't worry. And you guys, no, you guys take your time. I mean, I've got some cleaning to do. Got to you know, sweep up and whatnot. So you just, just relax. I don't think there's anybody else here, so it's all good. Thanks. Uh, it is really my pleasure. Thank you so much. I mean, it's nice to get a different perspective on things, you know? Yeah. When you reach for the check, there's more than just a check inside the folder. There's a note. It's written on a one of those brown paper cafe napkins. It's in pen. What does the note say? The note says, Sorry for listening, but I happen to be sitting nearby. And while your friend may not understand what you're feeling, she is right. You should have somewhere to come home to. And you should move forward. Sorry for listening. Again. Chloe, I'm gonna make a roll for you. You know that handwriting. And the <laughs> last time you saw it was five years ago. I... <laughs> there is no one else in this cafe. It's just you and Diane and Juan. What? What is going on? I'm sorry, I was looking at my phone. I'm texting Wyatt. <laughs> what happened? Nothing, I just, um... Oh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I... Maybe you're right. Maybe I, um... Should go meet Dave's family. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's just a lot. You know the, the protests and yeah, yeah. I guess Juan, I'm just worried. Uh, Juan returns to your table. He's got a broom. He's obviously ready to start sweeping up. Hey, um, I couldn't help. Uh, are you all right? You want me to get you something? Need some water? Or you look a little. Uh... Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, um, it's just, it's, um, it's girl stuff. Nothing. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, didn't mean to, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just clean up. He, uh, returns to behind the counter and begins to sweep. Hey, like, maybe I'll get it next time? It's not that. <laughs> no, it's not the bill. Okay. It's just, um, I don't know. I just, um, you're going through a lot. I understand a lot, but I'm happy for you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy too. Chloe, what do you do with the note? I slip it into my pocket, fold it neatly first. And I, I, I don't know what to believe. It, 
Part of me knows that he never went away. I just felt some kind of presence, but who knows if that's how we all feel when we lose someone and if it's just that normal thing that you feel or if he really was watching me. And, and, and somehow found a way. Yeah. Jasper, you know that you have to leave before he locks up. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll be a little tougher getting out. You might actually have to pick a lock. Yeah. I'll... I'll get up and stand by the door and wait for them to leave. And when they do, I'll slide out. Very well. One takes as long as he possibly can to sweep up. He sweeps corners that have been so up six or seven times. There's no more oh, dirt here. One. It's so obvious that he is delaying the inevitable. But eventually, he has no choice but to let you know that we are closing. I'm so sorry. I got to lock up. I got to handle the till, the stuff in the back. I'm, I'm super sorry. It's okay. Like. But I'll see you, um, I'll see you Friday. Yeah, I'll see you Friday. And... Stay by your phone. I really love that meme you sent me. <laughs> oh, you liked it? Yeah. Yeah, with the rat? Yeah. Isn't he cute? Yeah, it's like really cute. <laughs> yeah, and seeing rats around campus a lot lately. Have you noticed? Yeah, it's kind of gross. Yeah. yeah so I thought I would, you know, I took a picture of one and I drew the. Anyway, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> cool. You made your own meme? Yeah. Impressive. Well, I, I, I started out minoring in graphic design, but I, uh, I changed my major to poli sci. I'm just, there's so much in the world that has to change. And I need to know how. Seems like you already know. <laughs> I try. But anyway, uh, good night. Hi. And uh, <laughs> Right, that's our cue. See you and Friday. And I grab her hand and I'm like, girl, I think that you approve, don't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Little dish. Really. Friday's going to be great. Jasper, you follow them out? I do. But I don't follow them any farther than out the door. You let them go? Yeah. They walk away, and in a few moments, they're gone from sight, swallowed up by the shadows of the evening. That was stupid. That was really stupid. You shouldn't have done that. That was really stupid. The story that we've just shared with you is over for now, but it will continue in season two. Now, let's check in with the entire coterie. A few nights later, Griffith College. Not everything that you're about to see will make sense yet, but we'll run this scene at the end of every epilogue so that when you've seen them all, it will. And if you don't like spoilers, maybe skip ahead to the end now. And the week, huh? <laughs> I guess I guess we haven't all gotten back together since the succubus club and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Anybody want to say anything? Mm -hmm. Anyone? No? Well, I talked to Baron Abrams and it's been covered up. Just some sort of ecstasy issue. Um, but the masquerade is still intact. Typical. Well, I guess while we're talking cleanup, uh, Eve and I took care of the rest of the Blaine gang. Uh, his associates, mortals, his businesses, all of it erased. We have burned out all memory of Blaine from Los Angeles. Typical. Where is Eve? You had a new driver coming in. She's, um, she was uh, called away. A uh, new opportunity. Oh. oh. Darling, did you do something? I mean, did I do something? Like, did I do something to make her leave? No. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> oh, that's real funny, huh? Well, what'd you do this week, Sasper? <laughs> I explored my labyrinth, found a magic mirror, so nothing particularly special. Oh yeah, just mundane stuff. And nothing else. No further questions. Cheers. Check in on the, the thing? No 
were coming. Well, I did something. I found the last of the hunters. The Inquisition? How can it be the last of them? Mm, well, uh, less Inquisition, a little more misguided federal agents. See, there were three of them that traveled to Los Angeles and we took care of the two. Um, but I happened to take out the last one. What, Gregory Demetrios, what do you mean you took care of him? Must I be so gauche? I addressed it, removed it, killed it. Typical. <sighs> you well, know what, just don't even start with me. Well, if that's true, if the Inquisition is off the board, then we're pretty much ready, because I've done some homework, and the Valley is definitely ready for some new vampire blood, and I've put some things in motion to really make sure that we can hold this place, and if what you say is true, and there's no more Inquisition, then we are ready to go. Okay. Um, I took care of Isaiah. He's safe. Uh, I got some people on Mark. He's also good. Did you... She's not going to be a problem. You said that This before. time is different. I took care of it. She's gone. Well, then we're set. We're all good? All good. Oh! I did something. I released a new fragrance line. Get this. It's called... Arachnophoria. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what? Arachnophoria what? tastes the spider. Where do you, who tells you these things are okay to do? My interns. Wait, no, I've got it. You'll have him climbing up the walls. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's mean, come that on. That is uniquely it's... bad. <laughs> just... Not as tacky as your suit. You only get snippy when you know I'm right. You know right. what? Just now. Oh, which reminds me, I punched a cougar. How old was she? No, not. That's that, that, it is that kind of week. Mm hmm. Actually, um. I may have fucked something up. And this is where our story ends for now. Thank you very much for joining us for our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Hi. If you've been enjoying these episodes of L.A. by Night, you might want to know that Season 2 is running right now on Geek & Sundry, Twitch, and Alpha. So come and join us on Friday nights at 8 p.m. on Geek & Sundry, Twitch, and Alpha. That would make me... So happy. Watch Alpha.